What's up guys, my name is Noah, and today in this video I'm going to show you guys how to export stems. Now I don't have a whole project here, but it does. we don't need to have an entire project laid out in order to demonstrate this, and uh, I kept it a little bit short to save on uh, rendering times. So uh, what we're going to do is we are going to um, first make sure that our export section is, go is exactly the way we want it, so I'm just going to export this four bars right here. Uh, you could do that just by um, setting your loop point and then pressing Command L. It's four cymatics loops all layered on top of each other, not mixed or anything. We're not just a uh, stem bouncing video. So I set my loop. This is exactly how long I want the bounce to be. Usually for my track, I like to have a specific end point. Uh, or if I got like other stuff over here on the side that I was using that I kind of just left off to the side that I'm not going to be using in the track. I like to have my loop point set to where uh, it cuts all that other stuff out. Plus, you can you can cut it exactly where you need to. So then I'm going to press uh, Shift Command R, and that will bring us up to the export audio and video. Now, normally your uh, render track is going to be set to master. That's just going to take the master feed right here, what's come what's coming out of the master, and it's going to render that to audio. But what we're going to do is we are going to go to all individual tracks. And this is going to uh, bounce everything down, all these channels, all of the returns, and the master. So this is this would be great for um, you know when you're uh, maybe you're sending a track off to a client who you know they ask you to produce a song for them and you want it, uh, and they ask you for stems. This is this is the way to do it because you can give them everything so they can have the most control over the project. So we're going to hit select all individual tracks. I uh, set my file type to wave and my bit depth to 32. You don't have to do that. You could do uh, whichever you want, but I like to keep my, uh, my bit depth pretty high. So then we're going to hit export. Now uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, create a folder right here. I'm just going to put stems. You put the name of your song and you put stems right there. And we'll put... Uh, video stems right here and i'm gonna hit save and now it's going to render it and then it's going to convert all of those it, it's going to take a lot longer if you've got a whole track with a bunch of different tracks but then we can uh we can go take a look over here and see uh our stems folder right here okay cool so this is uh these are all of the tracks that we have we have the group one Right here, this is I grouped the first two in the project. You can see I grouped these these two uh, channels, so it will uh, give them individually, and it will give the group. So that's handy too. Uh, then here's all of our um, different uh, return channels, and then our our master right there. And that's essentially how to export stems in Ableton. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.